breaking news. You will be shocked as it's been rumored Tinubu may become like Sunday Boho if he's denied APC tickets. With all the spark of insecurity going on, Northerners are carrying out an analysis on, you know, Tinubu and saying if he does not get APC ticket, be sure, like really sincerely sure that another Sunday Boho will emerge because he will ensure that, you know, the Yorubas are not left, you know, without the truth. But with, I mean, Tinubu was one of the first persons who came out to say Sunday Boho, he's not standing with, you know, the Yorubas must leave Nigeria and what have you. It was one of those who stood for it. It was one of those who said it cannot stand. You see, it was one of those who said, no, no way, this cannot stand. You know, it was, it was one of those. He had meeting with some governors and straight away he said he's not uh, standing for that. Well, these are some of the things going on right now. And um, you'll be shocked, you know, what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Farouk says... Tinubu will be another Sunday Boho if he is denied APC ticket. I can assure you he will lead the Yorubas out of Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tinubu unusually Arabic and, des and desperate political speech in Ogun State on Thursday dropped for unmissable broad hints that if the all-progressive Congress denies him the party's ticket, it will translate to sectionize the Yorubas. The Yoruba nation will be actualized by him himself. He will do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that the Yorubas leave. Yoruba nation will not just be conveyed by Sunday Boho. Tinubu will pick it up. If this is done, if the party fails to observe the necessary, Tinubu will take over. The first hint is that, despite the presence of the non-Yorubans in the audience, such as Governor Ganduje and Yoruba listeners who all speak English, he delivered a speech entirely in Yoruba. It's easy to dismiss this as a shy, at a shallow grave as Tinubu for speaking Yoruba at a backdrop confirmation of English dominance environment. This is, however, incorrect and oversimplified. Most people in political society avoid speaking their native language because of friends and associates in a formal and informal setting, unless they want a symbolic, they want to make a specific symbolic statement that is not for everybody. Despite having a PhD from the University of Ibadan and some Yoruba knowledge, Ganduje is not, is not fluent enough in the language to understand what Tinubu says. A number of those who accompanied Ganduje from Kanu to Ogun did not, do not speak Yoruba. So if Tinubu has spoken Yoruba in that meeting, the Northern and says Tinubu will ensure that the South is out of Nigeria if he's denied the APC ticket. They will make sure of that, they had said. So this is what is going on right now. The North is analyzing, still analyzing Tinubu's statement, and they are really worried and scared, saying, you know, especially Farouk, he says, if Tinubu for any reason is denied the APC ticket, what will follow will be very surprising to many because Tinubu will be the one to lead the pack out of you know out of the uh, you know will be it will be the new sunday boho sinubu was the very first person who said who made a statement saying that um he's, he's not in support of the yoruba nation you know and because i mean because of this a presidential view you know and if for any reason he's denied then you can be sure that more things will follow in those regards because i mean what you have been what you have been so worried or scared about as i mean when there is nothing to worry yourself about again you know the thing you thought was the end of the day you can see very cleverly and very closely to yourself that i mean it is what it is yes yeah? so it doesn't happen so it doesn't happen it does not happen okay so these are things that are going on and why nigerians you know uh we must continue to look out for the best government uh, personnel that, you know, it depends on who you are, you'll be able to bring in such number and persons to work with you and to be able to drive and pilot the ship 
in the right direction. What we are having now is really, you know, uh, is, is really a shame. Okay, what's going on in Nigeria is truly and sincerely a shame. We have no government whatsoever. It's really a shame. We cannot, uh, we cannot continue with such. We just can't continue with anything of such. You know, if we really want change in this country, then we need to go for it. Okay, we need to we need to go for it. The, the things that are happening are clear indications that, you know, the country, there need to be a clear cut definition on some of those things. Okay, there has to be a clear cut definition on some of those things. And we need to get, you know, you, we need to know who exactly will be the one, you know, bringing in that change and who could possibly drive the nation in the right direction. So his speech is being analyzed. They said for him to speak that well, Ganduje was there, by the way. Ganduje is the right hand man of Buhari. Okay. He said if for him to speak, you know, go ahead and be speaking his own language, you know, uh, uh, it, it's, you know, it, it's, uh, it's becoming a real matter. It's becoming a real matter. They said he shouldn't have done that. Uh, he shouldn't have done that if he has, if he shouldn't have done that because uh, it shows that he has no uh, formal iota of respect. You know, he has no iota of respect. And um, for him to do that, it shows that um, he's ready to say sensitive matters. And he will, even if, you know, he become president, he may still, you know, divide Nigeria. I'm telling you. These are some of the things that have been going on and the debates that have been happening in recent times. So the debate that have been happening in recent times. And the, the truth of it is that we cannot uh, uh, keep quiet and allow, you know, some of these things to continue to, to go on. It is high time Nigerians begin to stand for what is right and we, you know, we pick our own leaders. If we don't pick our leaders, these people are going to pick for us. And what they'll pick for us will not be what we want. So we don't want that. We don't want that in any way, form or kind. We don't want that. So we need to begin to, you know, put out there, put it out there that this is what we want. And we need to ensure that, you know, we get what we want, you know, in doing the truth. You know, it is what it is. It's look at look at what's going on in the country. Look at all that is happening. You know, it's, it's shame, but it's the truth. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.